Americans face are overwhelming. Between an influx of drugs and migrants, crime, government apathy, and ineptitude, solutions can seem out of reach. But one Arizonan says he does have the solution. An engineer by trade, Glenn Spencer resides on the Mexico-Arizona border. In California, Glenn formed the American Border Patrol in 2002, a nonprofit which develops radar, seismic sensors, and drone technology to defend the border. I first met Glenn when I was a reporter in Los Angeles more than two decades ago. I was intrigued by his venture into the world of border security, so when I was in Arizona, I called him up to take a first-hand look at his innovations. Oh, look who's here! Long time no see, Glenn. Oh, my gosh. Wonderful to see you. You too. You look terrific. Well, thanks for letting us come to your ranch and research center. Well, we're so glad you're here. Glenn introduced me to Sidearm, his patented seismic and drone technology system that can detect human footsteps 500 feet from the sensors he's placed along the border. We decided to give it a test. We sent a team out into the field. As the team members start to move, it isn't long before the seismic sensors detect their footsteps. Back in the control room, the computer system outlines the region where the movement was detected. A drone is automatically dispatched to those coordinates to scope out the action. Within seconds, an alarm sounds. People red. People red. They are going to be in this area. There they are. Wow. And that took a matter of seconds. Yes. A matter of seconds. So what it did was go to where they possibly could be up front, and there they are. Amazing. If a threat is determined, Border Patrol agents would be sent out to detain the trespassers. Amazing. It's amazing. Here it comes. After the drone has spotted the targets, it automatically flies back to its docking station to recharge. Mission ended. Can this work at night, too? It works better at night. With a thermal camera, they stand out like a Christmas tree light. And it's all automatically programmed? Automatically programmed. And <clears throat> it could be automatically programmed for any sensor along the entire border. And, uh, you know, these new drones are very sophisticated. They can do human tracking, automatic tracking, facial recognition. I was intrigued. The government has to see this. We have actually a proposal into the government to do this. In fact, I learned that Glenn has tried tirelessly to put this technology in front of Washington. So why isn't the government moving forward th with this? Everyone and their mother has now paid lip service to securing the border. Right. There are some very powerful forces back in the swamp who do not like this idea. So when I come marching in with the technology to measure the security on the border, I am the last person they want to talk to, they want to see, or have anybody know anything about me. Because that is the bottom line. They don't want to measure it. They don't want to secure the border. They want to make it look like they are. Right. That's it. So you're exposing the kabuki theater of border security in both parties. Kabuki theater. How else would you explain the fact that over the last 14 years, Glenn has been able to self-finance his own technology that can successfully secure the border, while the U.S. government, with infinitely more resources available, has not? U.S. Customs and Border Protection was created in 2003 to secure the border through, quote, collaboration, innovation, and integration. Their ideas, similar to Glenn's, have included ground sensors, cameras, radars, and drones. But where has their innovation and the $209 billion spent on border security since 2003 gotten us, the taxpayers, footing the bill? According to an Office of Inspector General's 2005 report, the technology employed by the CPB has a false alarm rate in excess of 90 percent. And CPB's expensive drone called the Predator, well, the Predator is apparently the Lamborghini of unmanned aerial vehicles, costing just over $12,000 an hour to fly. Expensive, but impressive? These drones have nabbed just 3% of drugs seized by agents. Do you know how long 
the system has been installed here? How long? Seven years. Wow. We've had one failure. Wow. So this is not like Jetson's pie in the sky. No. Technology. It's, it's here. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. And according to Glenn's estimates, his entire system would cost between $100,000 and $150,000 per mile to implement along the entire border. If this was $100,000 a mile and you have 1,000 miles, right? Well, 1,000 times a million is $100 million for the whole wall uh, or $150 million thrown in. That's also cheaper than Trump's proposed wall. The Trump thing is like 10 billion. billion. Mm -hmm. So there's no comparison. Mm -hmm. Because how much per mile would this cost to operate? Well, you, this well to operate, you know, the reliability is so tremendous. Uh, it, it's just really small. The sidearm is really zero. It takes care of itself. You just have to go out and maintain it. But to actually operate it, there's nothing. You're operating it from the Border Patrol station or individual agents out in their vehicles. You don't have anybody else in there. And I will tell you this. I've got Border Patrol station right down here. There's a guy parked there 24-7. It costs us $450,000 To pay him to park there. To park there. For that, I can do almost 10 miles of the whole border, and he does 200 feet. I mean, the economics would just blow you away. The savings, the, 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 that makes the Border Patrol jobs much better instead of sitting there guarding a tree. <laughs> he's, he's, he's apprehending people. Right. So this is, you can scale this up. Of course. How close to uh, implementation could this be if the government gave you a green light? A long time, maybe 30 days. <laughs> what are they waiting for, Glenn? All of the hardware, almost all of it, all of the stuff is seismic equipment. The seismographs, the cables, the geophones, everything that the oil companies have been using for years. There has to be a catch. What would you say are the biggest pitfalls of your system? Um, well, we haven't really found it. Some people say you could dig it up and chop it to pieces where you, you can install it in pipe. You can backfill it with concrete. It could be tamper-proof. Some people say they can tunnel underneath it. And if I can pick up an individual walking 500 right. feet away, I can think I can detect somebody digging right, a tunnel. Right, before they, yes, right, right, right. Or even using a tunnel. Uh, I've argued that uh, the most of the tunnels dug along the United States are within a 13-mile area, either in San Diego, in Nogales, or Douglas. The rest of it, you install a sidearm, you will know immediately between El Paso and San Diego. The open borders lobby on the progressive left will do everything in its power to fight President Trump from making any kind of progress to halt illegal immigration and secure the border. They'll play the race card. It's the only card they've got. They'll demonize the rest of America who want their borders secured. And they'll obstruct them from achieving our most basic goal of government, which is ensuring our sovereignty and the safety of our people. But guess what? The supposed humanitarians of the open borders lobby are encouraging more border crossers to make the treacherous journey across the desert. If you get a group of people like this, property owners uh, in Colorado Springs, and you went around the table and they, you say, how many of you people have found a dead body on your property? How many do you think it would be? Zero. How many do you think of these people? 100%. That is amazing, Two. isn't it? It's heartbreaking. I've provided medical treatment, food, water. You know, many people along the border have provided more for illegal aliens than, than any of the people that are calling us racists have ever thought about doing. It's true. Over the years, John Ladd has found at least 14 dead bodies on his land. He's also sponsored three Mexicans for U.S. citizenship. I wonder how many foreigners these open borders lobbyists have sponsored. Secure our borders. It's the most American and humanitarian thing to do.